Hello, question seven. This one may, may take a little bit of time. It's histograms, there's gonna be a lot of scrolling, so do keep with me here. Ravi is a gardener who grows and sells sunflowers. This year he bought two different types of sunflower seeds, A and B. He planted he planted 60 seeds of type A. The table shows the maximum height each of these 60 sunflowers grew to. So, okay, da, 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 maximum height. Draw a histogram. So we've got the base there, lovely. So we've got effectively frequency will equal the frequency density times by the class width. So our class width for these, we've got 100. We've got 50, 25, 25 and 50. That's all in centimeters. And that's what that is. Okay, so frequency divided by class width gives us our frequency density. So we're going to have 0 0.1, 15 over 50. I'm going to get the calculator out for that. So that's 0 0.3. Oh my word, these are out, aren't they? What's happened to them? Uh, 18 divided by 25 gives me 0 0.72. 15 over 25 is 0 0.6, and this one is 0 0.04. So we now need to draw this. So we've got a nice big class width here of 100. Starting at 150, I've got to be so careful. This is so hard on the surface, bro. Oh, I've gone up too far. There we go. That one's there. Uh, the next one goes to 0 0.3. So I'm just going to draw the line there already. Uh, goes across the 300. Um, yeah, that looks fine. Scroll up a little bit now. Down. And then across. Right, our next one's at 0 0.72, which is going to be 0 0.7 plus a little square. So up we go. Oh, dear, oh, dear. You'll all be using pencil and ruler when you do this. Um, it goes across to 25. And then down again. Lovely. Right, our next one is at 0.6, so I'm just going to cross there. Again, it's just that bit there, down all the way. And then finally, 0.04, so that's just two little squares up. Going across 400, brilliant. Okay, there we go. So that's our history. I'm drawn three marks in the bag. Okay, Ravi has also planted 80 seeds of type B. Um, which type of sunflower A or B had the greater proportion of flowers that were at least 340 centimeters tall. Now, the first thing we need to know is the frequencies here because we can't trust that this will add up to 80. So, um, I'm going to look at these ones. So, we've got a, a width of 100 and then it's 0.1, that's 0 0.02. So, that's worth two. This one, 50. I ought to use the calculator 50 times by 0 0.5, six, there's 28 in there, so that's 30. 25 times by 1 makes 55. 25 times by 0 0.8. 25 times by 0 0.8 is 20. And then 50 times by 0 0.1 is 5. So, yeah, that does seem to add up to 80. 30, 50, 75, 80. Okay. Right. At least 340 tall means that we're going to have one goes into there so we're going to have a rectangle with a width of 2 and a height of 0 0.8 and then the second one has got the width of 50 I say 2 that's not right is it it's 10 two squares but that's 10 10 times 0 0.8 and then 50 times by the 0 0.1 that's 8 that's 5 so that's gonna be 13 out of 80 and I want to convert that to a percentage 13 out of 80 times by 100 is 16.25%. Okay, I'm going to go back to part A now. So it's at least 340 centimeters tall. So again, that's going to be 10 times by 0 0.6. And then we've got 50 for that class width times by 0 0.04. I just want to double check I did that one right. Yep. So 6. 0.04 times 50 is 2. So that's 8 out of, what did we get there, 60? Yep, 8 out of 60. 
8 divided by 60 times by 100, 13.3 percent. So our question is, so if sunflower had the greater proportion of sunflowers that were at least 340, so the greater proportion is group B as 16.25 percent were greater than 40 centimeters tall um, as opposed to A's 13.3 percent okay happy with that anything else no that is all of question seven right see you next time oh and just to add like the video and subscribe. See you for the next question.